What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and we know the arena has changed so I want to go over what the like summon tickets that you guys can use in the arena have changed to be a little bit more specific because I've seen some people be a little messed up on that and then also let's talk about my new strategy which is totally OP. Let's get into it. Before we get started guys, I do need to mention this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, so thank you guys so much. Raid Shadow Legends is the newly released RPG for the mobile platform, pushing those graphics in mobile gaming even more. If you take a look here, my god, do these graphics look great. It is an RPG style battle system uh, where you guys are going to have the epic storyline, PvP battling, epic boss fights. Look at these boss fights guys, they look really great. Uh, on top of that, we got some good looking characters to be looking at um, and, and acquiring and leveling up and making them your own so you guys can battle each other. I'm showing a few off here. So so if all of this interests you and you think the game looks pretty cool, uh, click the link in the description below because if you use my specific link, we're going to get you guys 50,000 silver in game along with an epic champion to help you guys out in the beginning because you don't want to miss the new event they're running at the very beginning. It's a special like release event where you can win in-game prizes and even real life prizes. So I want to get you guys in there so you can battle it out and get you started well. So use the link in the description below to check out Raid Shadow Legends today. Alright guys, so here we are into the arena changes. Now, these are the things being added to the arena summon pool. King pots. And from what I've heard, the king pots are pretty rare to get, but those are the biggest pots you can get, so that's cool that you even have a chance at getting those. We are getting 1% Moogles in there. King Metal Mini Tours, which are the uh, Cactuar you guys are most looking forward to to make your 7 stars maxed out. Gill Snapper Family, giving you a lot of gill. And then Energy Restore Pots, which we all really need. Things that were removed, and this is important, it's removing all of these different, like, uh, I wouldn't call them crap items, but not as useful items anymore. Along with Metal Mini Toir, which is going to be the not, the, not the Metal Gigantoir, not the big looking one that you guys can get from King Mog, but the tinier one. Metal Cactuar, that's another bad one, not the Metal Gigantoir that you guys can get from the, uh... King Mog Shop like I referred to here, but it's going to be the tinier one, okay? Mini Gill Snapper and Gill Snapper, that's going to be the little ones. What I want to go ahead and show you guys here is what exactly is actually left inside of King Mog, okay? So these are the ones I'm talking about, uh, if I can get through all these trust moogles that apparently I have. Down here, this is called a Metal Gigantor. It will still be in there, and I find this still to be useful to level up your, like, four and five star up to six star units, okay? That's why I like to still being in there. And as far as Gill Snappers are concerned, um, it looks like I don't have any... Oh, wait, it might be over here. Yeah, you're going to find these two in there, I do believe, right? Because this is called the King Gill Snapper. So anything below these two or below the uh, Metal King... Uh, Metal Gigantoir that I just showed you, they're going to be gone from the list. So what that means is when you guys go to summon here in the arena, you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck. With that, with those, like, I would say far less optimal summon uh, options we have here. I know the picture hasn't changed. They really need to change it. It still has all the bad items in there. But let's go ahead and do a summon ticket of 10 and show you guys what I'm talking about. So yeah, the treasure chest is still a little clunky, but that's going to be all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click through here. And you guys can see... We've gotten two Metal Gigantoirs and a ton more pots than we normally do. We also see that we're getting the bigger uh, Gill Snapper, not the biggest, but bigger. And then the uh, the little um, King Metal Mini Tours here, which we use to level up our seven stars. I know it takes a while, but we get those, along with getting four pots. Now, before we'd summon, and I swear I would get like one pot per tin pool. And we go to next here, and we see that we get some Star Quartz that is still available in the pool. We're going to go ahead and do another tin pull. Why not? Show it off. See what we can get here. Um, show you guys a little bit more with it. So if we look here, we got one, two, three, four more. We got some of these and we got, you know, it, the, the summons are just that much better. And if you end up getting lucky enough and we got 20 energy for later, we can restore our energy about 20 for next time. So these are obviously very, very much increased in value here with our tickets. Don't look at this picture too much because again... It's, it's a little outdated. Obviously, they should have updated this. I know people are scared to summon. I'm here to tell you, don't be scared. You can go in there and use it up. Now, for the real reason we're all here, and that's going to be my OP strategy. Uh, my dog's barking. I'm sorry about that. Uh, for the arena. Now, the arena is, is changed up a bit, so that's why I'm getting back in there. If we go to setup, this is my setup for the arena currently. That's what I'm talking about. K-Sith is in the house, and uh, we're using K-Sith because... The LB isn't that much to fill up, and Kate says LB is a 90% AoE death, alright? So this is kind of a troll, in a way, I mean, it makes going through these orbs easy for me. It allows me to get into the arena and do what I want. We do have uh, Mouth, and then we have um, Eileen. Here, they both have abilities, which I'll show you in a minute, that raise up your LB. So I'm using those to give all my LB up to my um, Kate Sith here, so I can just try to KO. So we're going to pick somebody here. 
Honestly, people do use Death Resist in the um, arena, and that kind of foils our strategy, right? However, you can't Death Resist everybody, so people are going down. And if somebody's Death Resist, I honestly just auto and we see who wins, all right? I could be changing it a bit. I could build up, maybe maybe level up if I had two 7-star Eileen's or two 7-star Mouth, possibly use both of them so they can chain and kill things. But for me, I'm just trying to get in here and uh, have some fun and mess around, so that's what we're going to do, all right? So we're going to go ahead and go down here. We're going to pick some random person. I'm going to pick this prompt, and we're going to see what we can do, okay? Sorry about that. My eyes bother me a bit. So we're going to go in here. We're going to battle my Kate Sith versus your entire team. I see the double Ash there, the double prompto. I can respect that. And a little bit of Eileen action. I think it's because she's a bonus unit this week. Give a little bit more of a bonus point. So another thing I want to point out about the arena is it loads in way faster. They fixed that a bit here. We, we can load in really quick. Um, so, Birds of a Feather is what you're looking for from Mouth, and then we're going to use Mouth, and then we're going to use uh, Schematic Rainbow, which is going to put up our LB. So, we use both of these abilities. You can see that our Kate Sith go all the way up, and we get a little breakage going on. And then we go ahead and use Game Over. If we see Resist here, that means they can resist death. If not, boom! Dab on them, baby. It's over. They're dead. Um, now, again, if it says Resist, uh, you know, that means you will see Resist pop up as soon as you cast the ability. That means that even if your other Kate Sith start popping off with their LBs, um, they're still going to live. Now, 90% most of the time, you, uh, 3 is a little bit overkill. Yes, I max out all their LBs for funsies, all right? Sometimes I like to have fun in this game. So maybe you just need one or two, because sometimes that 90% does miss, and having another one to back up your current one is important. So maybe you could replace this guy with another damage dealer. You don't have to have all three of them. But for funsies, we have all three. So I like to go in and just, like, farm the same person over and over again, because I know they don't have death resist. But let's look around. We'll, we'll mess around and see if we can find a death resist person. So I can show you guys. Ooh. Four Ash and a Ling. All right, things are getting interesting. Let's see what happens here. But this has got me more into the arena, guys. Having some fun. Watching these Kate Sith pop off. It's very interesting. And the cool thing about this is, is you guys can hit reload, bop, bop, reload, bop. Okay, they don't have any death resist. But that's how it works. So boom. You just have to hit reload, click, click, reload, click. And there you go, you're getting you're getting your arena, you're doing it quick up, and it's hilarious to tell your friends that you're messing people up in the arena with Kate Sith. It's incredible. I love it. So we're gonna go through the rest of my orbs here and try to find a death resist person. I don't think we are. Obviously, you guys have your own different um different strategies. You guys have the way you guys like to do arena, and this probably won't work in the higher threshold. Well, it still works though. Here, we'll fight this person. They have Ayaka. Normally people put death resist on Ayaka, it's how they want to do it. So ooh! We got a Refia in here. All right, Mama Refia is in here, ready to fight. Um, so when you get into that situation again, you guys can build up your other units too. And my Kate Sith, by the way, are built up totally HP. I just put as much HP status on resist, and I'm getting lucky to go first every turn. But they'll live. Like you can see how much HP they have. And as long as I have one of them and both of these units, we're good. I don't think Mouth has anything on, to be honest. Let's see, Ribbon. All right, dude. Maybe put some more stuff on her. I, I tried to build her up for a little bit of damage, but um, we don't really do much damage with her. And then. I built these guys up. I put pods on just in case I wanted to, to, to dance around a little bit with pod. Obviously, it doesn't even have anything here. I don't know. I just didn't want them to die is essentially what I'm doing. So we're going to get reload. Boop, boop. Give everybody LB. Crack this. Do we have a... Nope. And everybody died in the first hit. So I'm trying to show you guys the part of the strategy when it doesn't work out. However, if, if there's no resist, they're all going to die. There's no way... I mean, it's possible that a 90% fails three times in a row. But it's coming back the next turn because we're going to auto and we're going to get back our LB. And uh, we're going to kill them off. So... Again, this is just an easy way. How many? We got one more orb. All right, we're trying to find somebody that might have death resist. Let's go. Let's take a look. I just want to show you guys. Ooh, this Ayaka, dude. This Ayaka, probably death resist. Let's find out. If they have a tank, more often than not, if you see... Oh, I like this team. Um, you will see a tank sometimes will have the death resist because of the Genji shield. The safety bit, you know, in there. Ayaka. Ooh, let's see. Let's see here. So, reload. Click, click. Reload. Done. Nope. <laughs> But, Summertime Luca didn't die. Look, boom. Live to the 90%. Well, guess what? I got another one for you. You gonna live through this one? <gasps> live through this one. It's happening. 90%. Okay, I couldn't live through three. So maybe you do need three to better take them all down. That Summertime Luca was strong. And that's how it goes in the arena now for me. So, yeah. So thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to check that game out, click the link in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Comment down below what your arena team is or if you're experiencing uh, some fun getting back into the arena after these tickets are being enhanced. And then subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.